together we were able to collate all of the material that had been collected and produce um, within a three hour session a uh, completely new Wikipedia page. I think the sense of achievement that the students um, found in, in being able to do this uh, was very evident on their faces as they saw the Wikipedia page for the first time. You've kind of contributed to public knowledge in some way, even if it's just repackaging knowledge that's already there, but you're making it accessible and it's a really good exercise in critical thinking and that's something that, um, you know, sort of the ultimate skill you learn in an undergrad degree and, and I suppose looking at it, yeah, learning to look at an article and think how could this be improved um, and I think, and then finally, like, as a student, it's a really good opportunity and it's a really motivating thing to be able to do to relay the knowledge you've learnt from lectures and exams. It hasn't really been relevant outside of lectures and exams, but to see how it's relevant to the real world and to see how you can contribute and use your, use your knowledge to contribute. Um, I think what I found surprising was how easy it was, like the visual editor was really good. I thought I'd have to do a lot of like HTML coding or something. Um, but it was really easy uh, to just put it in and do the references and stuff. Um, yeah, and I suppose the other thing was how like satisfying it was when it was done. Like I thought, you know, comparing again to academic essays, like you send them off, you get the grade back, you look at the feedback, and you really never really read them again. Whereas um, I suppose knowing that people are coming back to this article and finding it useful uh, is really like gratifying, and you're just yeah, yeah. I don't know. It was it was fun. <laughs> Uh, the idea of using Wikipedia as an assignment um, became a very intriguing idea because one, it would produce a, an, an end product that would have a life beyond the class. It wouldn't die uh, after the end of the class, but it would continue on. Um, but secondly, the types of uh, scrutiny and editorial um, work that is done throughout the world uh, on that particular article um, really challenges students to, to think um, academically, to think uh, of how to nuance and how to uh, properly cite and, and research material for their article. So I, I saw these benefits not only in terms of the research um, skills being, being taught to a student, but also the, the, the possibility for students to have um, something that lasts beyond the class. When you hand in an essay, the only people who generally read it, read it are you and your lecturer. And then once they both read it, it gets kind of disappeared and you don't look at it again. And then no one really benefits from it. But whereas with the Wikipedia assignment, like other people contribute to it, you put it out there for everyone to read, for everyone to gain knowledge from, and you can keep coming back to it, keep editing, keep adding to it, other people can do as well, and it kind of becomes more of a community project that everyone can read and access, which I really enjoyed, and I was like, actually, yeah, it would be nice to have my work being appreciated and being read and being critiqued by other people rather than just my lecturer. So that was probably kind of the main advantage for me about having this as part of my assignment. An exciting moment for me was when I began to do all of my references, actually, for the article. <laughs> so cute. Partly because it's a really slick way that the Wikipedia backend mm -hmm. does let you do that. And partly because it was wonderful to think that I was using, on the one hand, these really relevant news articles, and on the other hand, these books, and drawing them together then, because they were all really important to conveying this idea. And so that was very exciting for me, actually, to be able to draw on so many different resources at once. Mm -hmm. uh, was another aspect of Wikipedia that I hadn't really considered, like the fact that through our entries, through our editors, through our articles that we created about women within religious studies, other girls who are interested in that kind of stuff can like get a sense of like the the roles and the services that they can that they can play in hit society that might have otherwise been forgotten. So that was another kind of helpful advantage of Wikipedia I hadn't considered before this assignment. Yeah. Um, I was very excited uh, about the fact that Wikipedia is going to be. Uh, as a project uh, in our workshop in uh, transition uh, studies. Um, for the first time, I am not a consumer of information, I am a producer. I am contributing to the um, present information there, out there. Um, I believe that the positives that can be taken out of this project is that um, for the first time, I'm writing for the public. I'm writing to be read. I'm not writing to be merely assessed. Um, one thing also 
that made me feel very excited about carrying out this project is belonging to a community uh, of translators that contributed to the knowledge um, and, and disseminated knowledge merely for the sake of increasing uh, the amount of information available. Yeah, I agree. I think um, the cause behind Wikipedia is very positive and it's nice to, to be a part of that and also have the possibility to potentially continue that in the future because now we know how it works. Um, and also just getting that translation practice I think is very valuable for us as translation students. But as far as research skills are concerned, mm -hmm. being able to do that yeah. cross-checking and that yeah. triangulation mm -hmm. that is necessary in the process is a very yeah. useful is a very yeah. useful skill. And it's something that once you learn how to mm -hmm. do it, is a skill that you can keep throughout your, yeah. your career. So it is in itself a very yeah. useful practice. So instead of saying I think you know don't use Wikipedia because it's no good, uh, it, it could be incorporated in that. So exact way as you just said, like as a triangulation. So you use it, but you also double check um, with other resources that um, that it's giving you the information that um, that you need. Point for translation students: the fact that they got the chance to see um, how Wikipedia uh, quantity varies from language to language and how translation can contribute to addressing that mm -hmm. issue gives them an extra um, angle of viewing their own work and perhaps their own role within mm -hmm. um, knowledge per perhaps mm -hmm. and um, I think on a subconscious level that can be a great motivation mm -hmm. for them too. As an academic um, you know, in the University of Edinburgh uh, and indeed in a university in the UK, there's always talk about how we have impact beyond uh, the academic realm, beyond the educational institution. And uh, what I find really exciting about uh, doing assignments like Wikipedia is that it gets research, it gets academic knowledge out there. It gets information that our students are learning um, that are producing out there. And it is something that, in some senses, is what academics are for, are to create knowledge and to share that knowledge and to really uh, bring um, the things that we're learning, uh, that we're excited about, out beyond uh, the confines of the ivory tower. And that's one of the things that I find really exciting about using Wikipedia not only on a personal level but also in, in, in assignments and producing things uh, with students and that students and academics are able to contribute knowledge to this world beyond the ivory tower. I've really enjoyed the experience so I want to repeat it uh, in the next academic year. I plan to be more ambitious. Uh, it's been a really rewarding experience and a way of engaging students in how to access and use databases, how to abstract the information from those, and how to use those to develop uh, a web-based resource. So if you're thinking about it, I would say definitely have a go.